this is Susan Sun on the Make Curve with SunIsFuture.net. And once again, we are here back with Cubotics. And I am sitting right next to Matt Luger of Cubotics. Um, hi, Matt. Uh, we've heard a lot of wonderful things that's been happening to Cubotics. Uh, Indeed. Can you tell us a little bit about what's been going on since we last interviewed Cubotics? Sure. So we've, we've had an extremely exciting year. Uh, oh, even over the last couple of months, uh, we've just closed our Series B round of financing. Mm -hmm. So we've added another uh, couple of very important investors to the family of Cubotics. Uh, in particular, uh, Eon, which is a major German uh, utility company and energy company, mm -hmm. uh, and Iberdrola from Spain. And by adding these two uh, groups to the family, we've gotten a significant amount of validation for uh, what our product is and how it can operate large-scale solar power plants. Even beyond that, uh, in the last year or so, uh, we've been de deploying significant commercial systems. Uh, we've got over 80 me megawatts in contract that will be installed and deployed in power plants around the world over the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, so very exciting times for the company. Fantastic. As Matt speaks, you can see the Cubotics is in action. And it's a definite uh, integration of the robotics with the solar industry and solar systems, isn't it? That's right. Uh, That's and, right. Uh, well, um, it, it's, I think Cubotics has just recently been named as one of the top 10 um, business in the robotics in the world, isn't it? That's right, yes. And that's a great honor. And there's a definite reason behind it, isn't it? It is. Um, it was a huge honor that uh, Fast Company named us uh, in the top 10 robotics mm -hmm. companies worldwide. Um, I think you know part of what's going on there is they're recognizing the fact that uh, we're using this innovative robotic platform to operate solar power plants. Mm -hmm. There are a number of companies in the solar energy space that have begun advancing uh, different aspects of the operation or installation of solar power plants, such as mm -hmm. solar panel cleaning uh, mm -hmm. or the installation part of the equation. However, we remain the only party, the only company that uses robots to actuate solar panels in a dual axis tracker function. In addition mm -hmm. to operating the power plant in that manner, we also are focused on the long-term operations and maintenance of these power plants. So there are a lot of very interesting ways that we can, uh, we can improve the life uh, cost, the levelized cost of energy, mm -hmm. which contemplates not only the upfront cost, but the long-term operating cost of a system yes. for 20 years or 30 years. Mm -hmm. And that's really what matters to the owners of larger scale solar power plants, whether it's a utility company or an independent power provider. Um, you know, These parties are looking for the lowest cost operations over time. That's fantastic. And with the uh, technology that's being developed in the robotics uh, industry, we can see there's a lot of collaborations. And uh, but yours is uh, one of the first, definitely. We can actually see that. Ooh, I think it's moving, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> OK. And, that's the first phase. Uh, do yes. you foresee the possibility of integrating the uh, cell cleaning mechanism also become part of the uh, cubotic system? In, indeed, and I, I, I wonder if the viewers, um, I could give a quick sort of description oh, about how this yes. works. Sure. And we don't, we, we, I can just can give it from it? here, that's okay. Oh, sure. Um, so can you see it? Okay. Ultimately, what our, what our product is, is improving the performance of very standard solar panels mm -hmm. uh, by the dual axis tracking, meaning we track the sun fully as it moves across the sky every day. Mm -hmm. And in traditional dual axis tracking applications, uh, the way it works is there are typically two motors at the base of every single tracker. Mm -hmm. We have removed those two motors from every tracker and we've put them in the robot and therefore are able to move those motors from tracker to tracker. What that does is it, it boosts up the performance of, again, a standard solar panel, and it reduces the cost of the overall power plant, and in addition, uh, allows for a great degree of flexibility on the installation, because we can actually um, uh, install in undulating land, uh, uh, yes. based on, be uh, whereas a lot of traditional trackers require a very flat graded land, so you have to actually mm -hmm. do a lot of earthwork. Uh, and in addition to that, a lower and more reliable operating cost over the life of a power plant. 
So that's fantastic. Yeah. Yes, um, far more flexibility than conventional type that we've been seeing mostly. That's right. Oh, that's right. This is really good. Where do you foresee? Are you now uh, basically uh, available in all 50 states? You're hmm. uh, installing in uh, 50 states, or are you concentrating mainly in California? Oh, actually, we we've, we've gone global right oh, out of the gate. Okay. Very so good. Um, some of the uh, really exciting contracts that we have already signed are in the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. uh, in Mexico. Uh, ah, we've got good. a number of partners in Australia that are very exciting that we're developing many megawatts with. Uh, we already have systems operating in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a few other sort of next step markets are going to be uh, South Africa mm -hmm. and Chile. Both oh, of which are wow. absolutely booming solar industries yes, and large scale applications for what we do uh, work quite well in both of those regions. Right, especially an uh, area where there are not that much uh, grid system to deal with or, or convert. Indeed. Um, this is fantastic. Yeah. Well, this is very exciting for Cubotics and we're it looking is. forward to seeing it spreading all over the, our planet. I indeed, and, and by the next time we meet, um, we should have systems operating basically on every continent around the world. I will not uh, within, be surprised. Within yes. the next year. So. Yes, I think uh, only one and a half years ago, uh, there was zero installation or so, or, but now it's uh, 80 right. kilowatts, right? That's right, that's and right. And so with that kind of development, it's uh, it will be uh, amazing. <laughs> It'll be all over. Okay, thank that's you right. very much, Matt. And, of course. And uh, signing off, Susan Sun, Nanamaker with sunisfuture.net.